Yeah, you know, that's that's our number one goal. I mean, something we struggled with last year is the fight, you know, to the end. Um, and we've been talking about it and working on it. And it, obviously the game didn't start off. We, we knew the whole the whole game was going to come down is, are they going to get going on offense? Because if they do, if they get into a rhythm, they beat Clemson doing it. When, that, when their offense is clicking, it can get ugly fast. Um, the plan early on was to run the ball and try to control the clock a little bit, which didn't work because they got they buried us quick. And um, so offensively, we had to change our mentality and say, okay, if they're going to be fast, we're going to be fast. Let's go, you know. And I told the receivers at halftime, this is going to be the most fun half of football you've ever had because I'm putting helium in this thing. Let's go, you know. And um, and and we fought back in the game, you know. And and, and that's still not going to be us. We're not going to. Uh, you know, throw it as much as we did. We still got to control the line of scrimmage. We still got to run the ball. And we ended up running, it was more than I thought, actually, for uh, 242. So it was probably, we had a couple big ones in there. We, I don't think we had the, the consistency in our run game that we need to have. Um, we, were, we weren't running early on very well. We dropped a ton of balls early. You know, the guys were fidgety. Uh, Jaden Jaden Reed, our, uh, our young receiver, who's a talented young man, he was a little bit shell shocked early. Ran the wrong route two or three times. Uh, didn't go out on the field one time. <laughs> and I turned to my right, and his eyes were huge. And and uh, and when he calmed down, I, I was happy with the way they fought in the third quarter. I told him at halftime, "This is the perfect thing that can happen to us. We need to, we're going to learn a lot about ourselves right now." And um, I was proud of the fight. We didn't get it done. We got it. We got to be better. Can't let them score that many points. Uh, number two is a really good player. We knew that coming in. And um, and we got we got to be better as a team, but but I just like the fight. You know that's something that we got to be known for is fighting. Now we got to we got to fight earlier. We get, we can't be pushed back in the corner before we start fighting. Um, but I was proud of the way they fought. The sideline was great. Their eyes were great. They were into it the whole time. Um, we got a lot to work on, but I, I was that's what I told them I wanted to see, and and that's what they did. Uh, it seemed like Jaden showed a ton of wiggle out there. You know when he gets the ball, it seems like he's got to definitely make things happen. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about um, you know his performance, especially in the second half, and then also what uh, that you like this does for Scott Woods? Uh, we just had to get him comfortable. You know that was the biggest thing, and we knew it was going to happen. We knew there was going to be bumps along the road. Uh, we had another issue on defense of uh, of too many guys in the field, which was another freshman where uh, our defense was out there on a third down, and we on the sideline. You were we're yelling, you know, punt return alert, meaning go to the to the launch pad. He went out on the field. So we ended up with 12 on the field. And I'm like, what are you doing on the field? I heard punt return alert. I said, OK. That doesn't mean go in the game. That just means go to the, the tunnel. So uh, so we knew there, there was going to be some learning curve with him. And we were trying to find ways. They, they didn't give us a bunch of easy ways to get him the ball. It wasn't like normal. Like There's other teams that defensively will give us a chance to get him some bubble, bubble screens. and. Once we got him in a couple formations that they were uncomfortable in, we were able to just get him the ball in his hands because he is electric with the ball in his hands. And he works hard. He's learning what he's doing. Uh, and you can see the confidence build as the game went on. All of a sudden, he, he has great hands. And um, you know, one, one of the throws, he kind of broke his route off. John saw him break the route off. I couldn't believe he threw it. I was wondering where he threw it. And Jaden scooped it up for a big one. And they looked at each other and was like, I saw this guy, so I bent it in here. And I was like, shocked you know that those two were on the same page um there's a play earlier that he he made a great read in his his decision over the middle john didn't see it and it would have been a touchdown down the middle if john would have seen it and i told john i said the young kid read it better than you you know so it, it was fun to watch his confidence grow as the game went on and um it's great to have a dynamic slot a guy that can that's a scary a threat you know, whether you're running bubbles, whether you're running big box fades, or if they're trying to play too high and you're running down the middle, uh, he is a threat to go deep, kind of like number seven is. And um, so I was I was proud of the way he got more and more confidence as he went, and he's going to be an integral part of him. He's already a punt returner, might end up being our kick returner. Um, he's been a, a, a blessing to have here. He's fun. He works, works harder than anybody, and he's just a sponge, you know, which has been fun to, fun to coach him. Up and down, uh, yeah, I'm pretty hard on him. Early on, he was he was speed reading everything. I mean, he was boom, boom, boom. He was on his third read in like two seconds, and I was like, dude, slow down. I, everything's happening a little bit fast for you, um, and he's he's slowly. I mean, the first pick he threw was a great read. Throw was low. D tried to catch it, ended up shoveling it up in the air to the defender. There's not much you can do about that when you have bad luck like that. 
but he needs to throw a better ball on that play. And then he just got better and better on his first touchdown to D. They played they played a blitz drop coverage. He threw the hitch on that play, which was a great third option. He went right to his third option, which was impressive. Uh, missed a couple reads, zone reads. He should have pulled a couple, should have handed a couple. He kept coming over apologizing. I was like, it's okay, just – just know for the next time. And then he pulled one, he scored. You know, he should have pulled the one before that, too. Um, the good thing is he's just, as the game slowed down to him, he saw a lot of things, you know. I felt terrible. Our offensive line did a heck of a job protecting. They knew we were throwing it, and he didn't get hit much other than on his second interception. I mean, we've been setting that play up all day. Gio did a great job of slipping the linebacker, got in the seam. I was like, here we go. It's going to be a big one. And as he's throwing, I see him kind of open up and get one in the back. And that's frustrating um, because I think they only got pressure on us twice of 36 throws or whatever it was. So um, so I'm proud of the O-line and how they played. I know they want to run the ball more, but we, we did a good job of balancing the two. It was 36-28, right? 20 rushes, 36 passes. I want, to, I want to be balanced if we can. But when you get down like that, balance goes out the window quick, you know? So, um, but I was... He's got to be better. We can't turn it over. But he did some impressive things. Some of the reads, some of the throws. Um, but he can get better. I mean, I'm going to – quarterback play is almost impossible to be perfect, I'm, but I'm expecting it almost every time. And I think he is too. And that makes him – he never makes the same mistake twice. You know, he sees it and says, hey, coach, this play will work again. Call it. And I dial it up, and he walks in the end zone. You know, so having a, a co-coach out there helps a ton when – when for today was the first time – that I, I had a lot of great communication with the passing unit. What do you guys want? What do you see? What's there? And they know I'm going to call it. You see it, you call it, and let's go. And um, and I think that'll help them because they're going to give me information so I can continue to see. I got guys upstairs too, but um, we did a good job of making adjustments because we did add a lot of plays in the second half. They're playing leverage totally different than they did on film. So we had to, we had to just change it. We had plays in the playbook they weren't necessarily in the game plan for this week and we, we we loaded them up in the second half and you could see the difference um you know as we start getting more and more this year's film we'll know what to expect better but um you know i was proud i was proud of the way they communicated and the way they fought and but we got to be better you give an update on the guys that left the game with injuries and then uh, also uh spears soon being ejected yeah I'm did to totally disappointed in spears i have to see it i saw i saw the 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 melee, I mean, I know we got two penalties, but I saw Spears' penalty. And I looked him in the eye and said, that's not what we're about. I don't know what the guy did to him. I didn't even want to hear it. I just told him I was disappointed in him because that's not what we're about and told him to get off the field and I'd talk to him later. And and, uh, and then they had, you know, I, I, I didn't understand that. I said, so wait, they had two penalties and we had one, but yet they all, they all just cancel out? And he said, yeah, that's the way it works, you know. So, um, you know, so I'm disappointed in him and he'll, he'll, He'll come back fighting. You know, he's a good kid and made a bad decision. Um, Tuck, I was proud. I was proud of our training staff. I was proud of Tuck. Uh, I went there, and he had his face down. I was looking bleak. I felt horrible. And I put my hand on his back, and I said, hey, um, and, you know, his face is in the dirt. And I said, hey, Tuck, it's Coach. How you doing, man? And I'm ready to hear, oh, you know. He's like, what's up, Coach? I said, I could, I could hear the smile. I'm like, are you okay? He's like, I'm great. They won't let me get up. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're just being careful with you. You know, uh, he had, he had answered some questions that, you know, this was numb, that was whatever it was. And it was just enough that, that our training staff did an unbelievable job taking care of him. He's in there walking around. Uh, I wasn't expecting to hear the voice and the upbeat, like, what's up coach? Uh, so I came over back to the huddle to let the guys know he's good. He's tuck right now. He's laughing, giggling. Uh, but we were just being extremely safe with him. Um, Asua's ankle, I think, will be okay. A couple other bumps and bruises, you know, but I don't, you know, from, I got to get a preliminary report tomorrow, but uh, I didn't get anything during the game. It was like, this guy's out, out, you know, a couple. I mean, you play a, a big physical team and you're going to get, I mean, next Michigan's going to be the same thing. You open up with two games like this, there's going to be some bumps and bruises, but I think, I don't think anything major happened. And, you know, I got we got to find out more about Tuck, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't what it looked like. You know, when I walked out there, I was thinking the worst until I heard him, and he was smiling, and and um, so I was proud of the way he handled it, and I was proud of the way we took care of him, just in case, uh, you know. And he was walk, he's walking around in there right now, so I'm, we're ha we're all happy about that. You spent the uh, spring and some and the summer watching uh, Levante and D, uh, you know, turn on speed, show what they can do. Uh, 
Uh, how did it feel to see them actually get to use that and use it very effectively? Yeah, you know, uh, the big thing we've been we the things we've been working on with those two work today. You know, um, you know, we've been working on certain routes. You know, D D wasn't a good post runner last year, and and I. I love the post. It was our best route when I was here. And uh, so we've been working on it. And he can run it better than anybody. He just didn't know it. And uh, so we tried to get him on some inside ones. I, I made a couple bad calls in the red zone. I put us in some tough situations, you know, early on. They're playing leverage different than we thought. So I'd call it. I could either burn a timeout. I got to get, I got to, we got to just get us, we got to go away from their leverage. And we went into their leverage a couple times, which was, was not good by me. Um, but it was fun to watch him roll. I mean, even when they think he's covered, if you throw it up in the air, I mean, we've been working on John, how you throw your deep ball. Uh, we have worked a lot on the deep ball. Uh, hopefully it showed tonight. Uh, we're more effective with it. It's going to keep people off of our running game. Um, it's going to allow for underneath stuff. It's going to allow for slots to do some things. It's going to make our RPO game better. As long as we can do it when we're not down by 30, you know, it's a, it, it gives you, it brings a lot to the table. and. And uh, you got to have confidence and throw it and catch it. And I think the guys do. And, and we did it from a lot of different ways with a lot of different angles as we were changing, putting things in at halftime. Um, and I was, I was proud, of, proud of D. He kept his cool bottom, you know. And uh, he was an all-around receiver today. Not just a deep guy. He went underneath. You know, he caught some slants. You know, he was a great all-around. He's not just a, I mean, people call him just a speed guy. But he can do more than that. You know, I was proud of the way he handled himself. And, didn't get Drake going. That's some. That was my most frustrating. We tried to throw him two back shoulder fades. Try to throw him a post over through it. Got him some hitches, you know. But uh, the way they they cheated their free to the boundary, we knew that was going to be an issue of getting him going. Because I wanted to get them all going. I wanted to get Bellamy going. And you know, you have to you have to get your guys touches. Your guys that can that can do things with it, you know. And uh, we had some attempts to get him and Geo the ball. Geo struggled. Um, and 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 Drake. I don't know. I got to watch the film. We got we got to be better over there. You know, we we with the other two were doing such a good job. You know, we were hitting big plays. Everything go two plays score, two plays score, and so uh, we got a lot of weapons, and we got to make sure we use all of them, not just not just two or not just three. And we got to get to four, five, six weapons, so people can't lean on one thing or the other. Last year, you you watched them pack the box on us, and that's that's not fun to watch. Number one, but it, we have to be able to take advantage when people when people do that. I know moral victories are something to talk about, not be about. Was 42 points in the dreams last night when you thought what your offense might be able to do against that defense? You know, all I've been thinking about is can we slow down Eric? I mean, honest to God. I mean, and when you're looking at it as a head coach, um, the key to them is simple. Like, if you can if you can slow that, that thing down, if you slow two down, you can beat them. And if you don't, you can't, you know? Um, like I said, ask Clemson. So it's... Um, Offensively, I, I knew we'd find our way. You know, we have a great leadership on offense. They're a very calm group. They didn't get frustrated. Um, they had positive attitudes. I mean, Bellamy actually, at the end of our, our meeting in there, stood up and talked to addressed the whole team about it's the first time since he's been here that when things weren't going good, I mean, everyone's eyes were good. You know, that's something I didn't see a couple times last year. So. Uh, so I knew we'd find our way, whether it's th running for 400 or throwing for 400, it doesn't matter to me. We have to do it in both areas and arenas. Um, so I was thinking more about, is this gonna, are we gonna be able to get in the backfield? Are we gonna hit him? Are we gonna tackle him? Uh, which we didn't do a good enough job of, you know, and, and, and they got ahead, you know, and then we, it became a score fest. And I was like, well, maybe we can outscore them. You know, we got to six and, and, uh, and then they pulled away again. They put two back in, because when he's not in there, they're a different team, you can see that quickly. And uh, so it's, you know, I guess moral victory. Yeah, I'm glad we, we got our rhythm going. It's going to be good for the future. I think our confidence is going to be better in the future. I think if we get down again, which we will at some point, uh, we'll have more confidence, you know. And um, and you got to live it and you got to see it. It's got to happen out there. And I think I think a lot of people gain confidence. Um, I think we were good enough to beat the team if we played a thing a little better on defense. Uh, but I think that's going to be every coach you hear that's playing Syracuse is going to tell you the same thing I'm telling you now, and we'll see if they can do it. You know, we weren't able to get it done. Anything else for Coach? Um, yeah, you rotated a couple guys at cornerback uh, opposite uh, Dallas. Um, I guess what did you we see? Never, <laughs> we had a ton of people out there. Yeah, um, I guess what did you see from them, and, um, you know, uh, is, that some, is that a rotation that you yeah, we're going to continue. I mean, we're, we're young, but I think I think Dowell's did a good job. He's played a ton of football. 
Um, you know, when, when we had Tranquil playing in the in the alley playing Samsung, he got beat by the the six six kid Custis, who had a great game. He caught the ball better than I've ever seen him catch it. You know, I tried to throw him a lot of fades when I was there. It didn't work out. So he's gotten better and better and better. I told him a couple of times, hey, Jamal, great catch. I mean, he hits one-handers. And, um, but I, Claiborne, I thought, looked pretty good out there. Claiborne is we, – we're, we're pretty strong at the safety position. And I want to get Claiborne and A.J. Thomas on the field. And, um, and of course, Tranquil, too. You know, so I want, I want all three of those guys on the field. So we have to find ways to do that. And then, uh, and then Anton. Anton Curtis did a good job out there, you know. And um, so I think we're, we're trying to build depth over there. We have really good depth of receiver right now. Um, and Anton is, gives us added value there, you know. So uh, I, it'll be fun to watch and see where they did. I think they got us in the slot mostly. They got us deep a couple times, but they, they kept attacking our slot uh, with the 6'6 kid, and, and he made some plays. And Eric put it where it needed to be, you know. Um, we knew they run the ball-wise. They knew they were gonna, they're built to run the ball, which is really interesting, you know, playing a team that runs this offense to be built to run it because they're that's a passing offense, right? And they got – their running back's good, their tight ends are good, their O-line's good, and their quarterback's good. And their wide, their wideouts are young, you know? And so they did. You can see they ran it, you know? And uh, and then they just tried to make big plays in the passing game, and, and a 6'6 guy helps that, you know? So uh, so that was probably the way they played. We got we got, to, we got to get to the film. I really got to watch where our breakdowns were. We knew the speed was going to get us a couple times. We didn't get them any walk-ins. You know, we watched we, – we talked about it as a staff. We watched Clemson. We watched Miami, and we watched uh, who was the other one? Louisville. I mean, teams that I really respect those defensive coordinators, and I, we watch them get wide open touchdowns because of the speed. And that was our goal: is they might, if we're in the hip pocket and they throw it to the six six guy and he makes a play, he makes a play. I just don't want to have a guy running uncovered down the field that they just dump him a, a bunny touchdown, which we'd seen on film again and again and again and again. And I don't think we necessarily gave them. I think we didn't play well enough, but I don't think we gave them anything. I think we were tired and as ready as we could be for the speed you know um but you know we have a long way to go but uh i was i was happy they fought they didn't quit because they were they got after us pretty good early and that's hard once they get that rhythm going to stop it and uh, i thought they did you know first place second half helped with that momentum and then when we put it in that that momentum helped us a ton but uh they kept fighting